Hey guys, and we're back to uh, Nightcry once again. However, this time I have managed to not attract the Scissor Walker before reaching here. So hopefully we can still use our one defensive item. Anyway, let's go find our friend, shall we? I believe I picked up the key. I hope I haven't been too stupid. Been having some annoying bugs with this game. Uh, the timeline flow chart thing is just completely bugged out and not working, but I think I've found a fix for that. Anyway, let's have a little look in here. I didn't realize you could actually search the other lockers. Well, that's curious. Yeah, 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 Jessica is dead. We know, we've seen it all before. We're getting a little bit wise to this. So, at the uh, current time of recording this, I have actually almost completed the game. It's not the longest game in the world. Mercifully so. Right, let's go deal with the Scissor Walker. Get rid of him. Now, I have actually played this on my uh, ally as well. Funny enough, on the ally, it gets a lot closer to 60 frames than it does here, which is interesting. It does make me wonder uh, whether it's something to do with NVIDIA drivers or... Nah, 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 it's just it's just shit. That's, that's the obvious answer. Right, so we also need to inspect this here, the brochure. Uh, they show the layout of the ship. We actually get a nice little map here. It's a shame we can't reference this map. But uh, doing so allows Monica to find a exit. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can't actually examine the brochure. We can't take it with us. Uh, I did hope when we first got to that section uh, or first picked that item up that I was like, ooh, dude, are we actually going to get a map for the game? No, no, we're not. Don't be silly. Okay, so with key in hand, we can get out of here. Sometimes we can see a spoopy scene. We walk around here. These spooky scenes do seem to be entirely at random. But maybe there is actually a science to them. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, there we go. So there is a spoopy scene. Nothing seems to be hiding amongst the plants. I'm sure something was there a minute ago. Oh, me too. Me too. But alas, nothing we can do now. Right, we need to go up these stairs. And get out of here. Now there's a couple of deaths that we can get. Coming up. We need to go through this door. This is the door that we found on the map that will allow us to escape. However, if that sketch of the ship's interior is accurate, I should be able to get onto the deck this way. But it's locked. Well, good thing we picked up a key, Monica. There we go. Now, if we enter this door without um, our light on, we die. No rhyme, no reason. Just instant death. The game likes to do this to us. Fairly often. We don't even get any cool scenes or anything. It's just like instant game over. Yep, and we're back to loading data. Now, funny enough, um, this is what I mean by the flow chart is just not updating. So I've actually played the game all the way down here, There's somewhere around here, um, but none of it is unlocked. It is a well-known bug. Uh, I do have a fix for it, but it, the only fix that seems to work is in swapping your save file over for a 100% clear completion save, which uh, I may do. I may do. We may have to do it. Um, Funny enough as well, you can see according to the game, I haven't actually completed that much of it. But if we swap over to the achievements, uh, somewhere, settings, there we go, achievements, you can actually see 
that I've already got basically all of the achievements. I've unlocked all the endings, all the ways to die, all that good stuff. Except for two more hidden... Oh, we can click to show these. That's new. There's two more uh, achievements to find, essentially. Um, but, like I've just shown you here, the game is not saving my progress at all. Which is a problem, you know? So, anyway, guys, I'm going to meet you back here. Um, and we're going to go turn our light on before we go through. So, I, the only ending that I have unlocked, according to the game, is a face floating on waves. Which I will show in a minute. I don't know. I might show all the endings at the end of the game, actually. Uh, as long as we actually make it that far, of course. Anyway. Back in a second. Okay, so <clears throat> we're back. Now having the light on, we can actually walk through this door without being horribly murdered. There is a trigger here as well for your first ending of the game. And that... Amounts to somewhat moon logic. So if you haven't um, gone into your social network system and posted this, if you walk through the next door, you die. Yep. No warning, no rhyme, no reason. If you haven't done that, you die as soon as you click on that door. You get a cutscene showing the first, uh, the first ending. But the funny thing is about some of these endings is... And they're not really endings, they're just game overs, they're just deaths. In fact, you could probably say that to about yeah, ninety percent of them. That you know, it it's weird, it's obscure, but it is what it is. What I will do, instead of showing off all the deaths in the game as well, we'll probably get a few along the way, but I will link a video in the description of the final video of all the deaths in the game. And once we finish the game, I will show off all the endings. Ah. It's our friend Scratch and Sniff. Oh. Whoa, you made me jump. I thought I was the only survivor on this floor. <laughs> this is no time to be left. We have to get out of here before it comes back. Yes, yes. I just got here in search of a way to another floor. Do you have any ideas? I do. There's an emergency rope ladder we could use to move down the side of the ship. Seriously? If we fall, we'll be seafood. You have to stay here? I'm going down. Wait, I'm coming too. All right, let's go. Seems a reasonable decision. Okay. August 18th, 2016, at 19.44, or 9.44 p.m. Now we switch to another character. Um, game? There we go. Well, yes, that's right, Maria. It might be dangerous to walk out there, but... Yes, yes, calm down. Rooney isn't our only concern right now. We have to stop that thing somehow. Yes, I know, Maria. I don't intend to get myself killed, you know. I'm trusting you to take care of the students. Yeah, so this is our next uh, player character. This is Leonard. This is uh, one of the professors on board. And funny enough, this section that we're going to play now, the mid section of the game, if you will, uh, it's actually my favourite part. This section is actually all right. The rescue boat crane appears functional, but without the boat. Well, that's a kick in the knickers, isn't it? All right. So we've got Eric. Wait a minute. Why is Eric here? Didn't he escape with Monica? Ah. Well, probably not important. Ah, Professor Leonard. The situation does not look good. Oh, hello, Eric. Do you lads have any idea what's going on here? I'm afraid we probably know little more than the passengers. All we know is there has been a mass killing taking place aboard the ship. 
Passengers between various areas have been cut off. On top of that, we're unable to reach the captain and crew. Have they sent an SOS? Oh, they have sent an SOS, right? I can only hope. Hmm, well, maybe we can sort that out. I know you. Kobe, eh? Professor Leonard, I'm Kobe, the pursuer. Ah. ah, that's right. You're the lad who came in to check on my shower. You really helped me out. I was screaming like a little girl when the ice cold water started spewing out of it. Uh, um, Professor? Right, yes, sorry. I wish I could grasp what on earth has happened. You'd think we'd been attacked by pirates or terrorists. Yeah, we came out here to assess the situation and help the people evacuate, but... Did you see? The lifeboats are missing. You mean all of them? I'm pretty sure. Huh. Yeah, so all of the lifeboats have been uh, dispatched somehow. How are your students holding up? They barricaded themselves into a cargo hold in the shopping area. I'm worried because some of them haven't joined the group yet. It's the safest place I can think of. A cargo hold in the shopping area, you say? Very good. Seems like they're all bunched up in one area. That seems unwise. And he's just going to repeat the same old drivel. Uh, should we assume that somebody dumped the life rafts intentionally to prevent our escape? That might be a reason, Professor. Oh, okay, the game just skipped that. Uh, there might be a reason, Professor. Take a look over there. Hmm. I see it. Some kind of light. A lighthouse? Or something lit up like a bonfire. That's obviously a fire, Leonard. Exactly. There are many deserted islands around here. You can see the light shining from one of them. Yeah, okay. I mean, that was certainly uh, words. Anyway, if we examine this yellow container. A red object that appears to be made of vinyl is folded in the box. Could this be a life raft? I think you have to examine this a few times for it to click. So this life raft must be in, must be the inflatable kind. I think three is the magic number. For reasons. Uh, maybe it's just two. Alright, so now we have noticed that there is one life raft left. Let's go talk to Eric again. Professor, don't you think you should head for the cargo hold too? I'd honestly rather not walk around the ship when there is a serial killer among us, but those students need me. That is why I'm looking for a way that we possibly make it through this crisis alive. I see. Kobe and I came up here to try and assist with passenger evacuation. But as you can see, all of the rifle life rafts seem to have vanished into thin air. Every window of opportunity we had is slamming shut. Yeah, so these guys are just sort of regurgitating the same thing, just in, in <laughs> assembled differently. Are you two aware of the yellow box over there? Isn't there a life raft in that box? Yellow box? Oh, that's right. We prepared an inflatable life raft in case of emergency. Right. I recall seeing that on the uh, itinerary. Never thought it would come to actually using it. Good. Then the both of you can get to blowing it up. I'll be cheering you on. Don't you care to join us? Sorry, I'm not too confident about my lung capacity. Plus, my doctor specifically told me not to inflate life rafts. That's oddly specific, Leonard, to be honest. But, well, well, we should hurry then. Yes, you should. So it looks like we're abandoning the ship. I don't know how we got down there. I'm not sure what's going on. But whoever is on that island probably knows more. So you think they're terrorists? Maybe. If they were, they probably would have made some kind of statement by now. Anyway, we should keep going. Okay. Also, this uh, life roof, uh, life roof, <laughs> lifeboat is back to front. But hey. I'm going to take a look. Okay, 
You lot stay here. I guess fluid dynamics I'm don't matter. Someone needs to guard the boat, or we could end up stranded here. Don't worry about me. I'll be careful. As you please. Alright, so we're going to leave these two here to just chill. We're going to go explore the island. And this is, like I said, this is my favourite part of the game. This actually feels quite interesting. It looks like there are other life rafts here. The boats are empty. Finding clues here seems unlikely. Now, I hate to be that guy. I really do. But these are the inflatable life rafts that we've just used. They're the same type. They're not the actual lifeboats that would have been on the hooks. So... Mm, I'm overthinking things. I know. Right, let's get moving. Now, we have some footprints here. We have to examine these two or three times. Footprints. They appear to be fresh. Must have been made by the people who landed here before us. How many people came here? Quite a few, I'd wager. Yeah, again, another annoying thing. Uh, you have to examine things multiple times or it just doesn't work. All the footprints head towards the thicket and disappear. Dead end. There must be a way around. Countless footprints lead from the boats to the centre of the island. Oh dear, I hope it's simply a band of jolly people who suddenly got the urge to start a campfire. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, Leonard. Let's go with that. Anyway, let's go examine this thicket, which you cannot do unless you examine the footprints three times. Hmm, the thicket here seems to have grown unnaturally thick. And we can see the uh, branches and leaves just phasing through each other. Decent sound work, though, you know? The sound design is fine. When the sound effects work, of course. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Uh, Leonard has quite a derpy run animation. It's not the derpiest of run animations, but it's, it's pretty bad. Now, this is a stealth section. This guy spots us. Uh, we die. Kind of tempted to show you guys because, believe it or not, it's actually pretty difficult to get this guy to spot you. If you run right up to him, for instance, okay. After a vicious cat incident, we are back. Okay, so I want to demonstrate this guy. If you stand in his flashlight, he seems to spot you. Kind of. Yeah, like that. And this is the game over. But I'm trying to demonstrate. If you actually walk up to his face, as long as you're not actually in the flashlight, he doesn't see you. You can literally stand in front of his face. But after having difficulty actually trying to get up to him. Ah, um, oh shit. Where's that going to put me? Now it's fucking working. Wait, what? What? Oh, I don't know. What? So how have I managed to play it all the way? I even streamed this in my Discord and we nearly completed it. But now it's suddenly updating normally. Ah, right, whatever. Anyway, I'll um, catch you guys back <laughs> in a minute. There we go. We've actually walked up to his face and he doesn't care. <laughs> as long as you... Uh, Apparently, don't get into a flashlight, you're fine. Uh, make that make sense. Anyway, we need to carry on. And uh, go into this little area, because through this door, there are some items that we actually have to collect. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves in a game over situation. So, these are human bones. Seems they've been here a while. Curious. 
We need to collect the non-slip gloves. These come in. These could come in handy in the forest. Get it handy. Oh, Leonard. Don't quit your day job, huh? Right, what else have we got in here? So we've got plenty of fuel cans. There's also a phone charger here so we can save our game. Leonard Cosgrove is our name. Save complete. Well, I mean, at least it says save complete. What it's actually done is anybody's guess. Now, if we turn our light on, we can examine this, and this will show us some radio stations. This appears to be somebody's notes. Indeed. Also some more notes here. A notebook with faded stains. There's brown smudges across the surface, surface, as if somebody spilt coffee on it. Well, at least they have coffee here. They're not complete savages. Imagine being abducted by a cult and they don't even have coffee. A radio, and it still works. I may be able to call for help with this. Yep. So, um, we actually have to call radio station 16. We phone any others at random. There's a chance of us getting horribly murdered. Let's see if we can't. What the hell was that? Let's try another radio station. Let's try number two. There is a hell of a pause. Hmm, nothing on this frequency. Took me about three attempts last time. There we go. Yep. Three attempts is the magic number. Ugh, no, stop. Yeah. We get killed by some kind of unknown psycho powers. And that's another dead end. Don't know how we die there. It's not explained. It's just magical voodoo, I suppose. Right, one second. Ah, I never found this before. The faded pinup shows the image of a smiling woman in a bondage-like bikini. That doesn't look like a bondage style bikini to me it just looks like a black one i recall seeing this pinup this is betty not betty gabriel that's right it's betty page but she was in her prime in the 1950s could this be a pinup from back then well seems likely anyway if we examine this box and find another crucial item the baseball we're going to be needing that later well, this is the first thing I've found that shows any sign of humanity. Back in the day, I worked so hard on my breaking ball, aspiring to be like my hero, Lefty. I'm not sure if it will be of any use, but I might as well take it with me. All right, so we've got the basketball. I like the way he says this is uh, the first sign of humanity he's seen. Like what, the bookshelves, phone charger, pinups, notes, freaking buildings, and... Come on, Leo. Off. And the radio? Like, does that not count? A radio, and it still works. Right, let's try the radio. So we want to go for station 16. And we need to get a distress signal out. This is Coast Guard to ship. Oh, huh? they're reading us. Cough, ahem, mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the passenger liner Oceanus. Current status, mass murder on board. Vessel mobile, requesting emergency assistance, over. Roger that. Relay vessel coordinates, over. Coordinates, coordinates, uh, exact position unknown, estimated to be... Oh, it's going too fast. Roger that, we'll commence search and rescue operations shortly. Whew. Right, I guess I have no choice but to believe they will be here. Right, so now we've made a distress signal. We've got the gloves, we've got the baseball. We can get out of here. And you know what? We're going to drop a save as well. Put our phone in the dock. And luckily we can skip the scene. 
I assume skipping the scene still allows you to save. I'm not really sure. Maybe that's what broke the the timeline. I, d I don't know. Anyway, let's turn our light off for now. Although, I don't think there's actually any danger of getting spotted. Okay. So, we've got a nice cave here. Let's go back. Head into the cave. Well, this looks cozy. Hopefully, we're not going to find any bears around here. That would be awful. Let's take this path. Luckily, I don't think there are any bears, but I think we might find something else a little bit more peculiar. As you can see, we're not exactly being quiet. Have a little look in this hole. As you can see, there's nothing in this hole. Until all the zombies appear. Out of uh, nowhere, I guess. Not really sure why we couldn't see the zombies before. What monster did this? Are they like the horrific Sawney Bean clan of legend? We should send in an investigation party once this is over. Though right now, I can't even bring myself to take another look. Terrifying stuff. Okay. Brownish garbage is scattered across the floor. It looks to be shriveled fruit. This room smells ghastly. Where uh, is this where it's coming from? My nose feels like it might retract into the back of my head. Yeah, I think that's the least of your problems, Leonard. A brown piece of decomposed cloth is melting into the muddy water. Best not to touch it. Yeah, he's going to say that. Now, there's another pile here. We need to examine this for this super glue. Some dirty cloth, a tube of something other or other. I've been left lying on the floor. Hmm. I might be able to use this tube of super glue. I'm going to take it in case I need it. I can always use it as first aid for cuts. Yeah. I actually thought we had to examine that super glue uh, more, many more times before he picked it up. Anyway, that's this room explored. Not bad, Leonard. Not bad. Let's keep this party wagon moving. Let's try the other way. Come on, Leonard. I think he has probably the most normal running animation out of all of the uh, characters. We've got another guard here. Don't want to get caught by him. Actually, I don't even think it matters if we have our torch on, to be honest. Ooh, almost. Yep. Now, if we get caught by him, it's just the same death again. For some reason, we'll just be outside and you'll see uh, three people closing in on Leonard here. And he'll be horribly moided. This guard does take a while to actually look the other way. Obnoxiously long, if you ask me. Come on, you dick. While well, we're young, buddy. Hmm. He's not turning. Not really helping our cause. Maybe we have to turn the light off. Yeah, I guess that's the rub. You've got to turn the light off. Alright. <laughs> so, he's, like, looking down here because he can see a light flashing, but he's not bothered enough to come and investigate. Alright, cool. The surrounding floor has been polished to a shine. There are people from the boat who landed here before us. Or are there... Or is there an indigenous clan inhabiting this island? We may never know, Leonard. This appears to be a gong. If I had something to hit it with, I might be able to distract the guard. Well, it just so happens that we're in luck because you are a deft hand at baseball and we've found a baseball. Ha! Huh. On the ground behind the shrine is an object on the floor about the size of a human fist. All right. Can we 
grab it. This looks like a fragment of one of the masks worn by those men I saw on the trail. Uh, a fragment of cracked mask. This could be a clue. I should hold on to this. Yes, we should. So now we've got ourselves a fragment of cracked mask. Ooh, that was lucky. That was a terrible scene transition there. If he was actually looking the other way, we would have been screwed. Well, go distract guard. Easy as that. Yeah, he's not the smartest guard in the world, luckily. Right, now we can get away. Uh, that guard, to my knowledge, never actually returns to his post. So, you know, we can forget about him. Right, another door. Let's go inside. Yeah, very fancy. The clothes on the hanger are clean. It looks like they were put here recently. They must belong to the group that took the life rafts. Okay. Curious. So it looks like people have arrived. The surface of this female sculpture is chipped in places. Examining it is uh, figurative. Examining its figurative characteristics, this sculpture doesn't seem to have any religious value to it. It's not caricatured in any way, nor is its silhouette, nor can its silhouette be interpreted symbolically. So it's simply an unpolished sculpture. Right, you are. Luckily, we have a save station here, which we're going to take advantage of. There we go. Save complete. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring this uh, questionable island. Because uh, there's plenty more mysteries involved here. Like I said, this is actually, for me, the, the most interesting part of the game. Um, the game starts off incredibly weak, and it seems to end incredibly weak. But this midsection, uh, exploring this island, uh, I enjoyed it. Anyway, let me know what you think, as always. Till next time. Thank you.